All right, hello there and welcome. My name is Ben Wade. I'm the founder and creator of UnleashU.com and I'd like to welcome you to this installment of Bionic U, the series dedicated to lighting the path to your full potential. In this video, you'll be learning how to make your embedded YouTube videos automatically play. We're gonna cover how to do this with the new code as well as the old embed codes. And as a bonus, at the end of the video, I'll show you an easy way to center the video on the page. Now keep in mind as you're watching this video that this is part of a much larger collection of videos just like it at UnleashU.com. The resource center there is organized step by step to show you how to do things like put together websites with WordPress and other stuff is constantly being added all the time. Links to that are in the description below the video. So to get started, what you'll need to do is go to the YouTube video that you want to embed on your page and then scroll down a little bit. Because beneath the video, you have all your control features. And if you look, it starts off on about, but then you can click on share and then embed. And this is going to give you the code you need to add to your website to make this video show up. Now to start off with, if you just copy it and paste it, and I use WordPress, so on your page editor, just go to your text tab and then paste it. This is going to make the video show up, but this is not going to make it automatically play. To get it to do that, what you need to do is add a little bit to the code. Now when it starts off, what you're looking for is within this code, you'll notice that the link to the video is right here. This is what you're looking for because this identifies which video is going to pull up on your page. And it's going to show up within the quotation marks. So what you need to do is after the link but before the quotation marks you need to put question mark autoplay equals one. All one word. Now if you copy this code and paste it into your page This would actually make it automatically play. So we're going to update the page. And I've actually got that page pulled up here in another tab. I'll refresh it. And if you notice, it pulls it up and it automatically plays. Hello there. My name is Ben Wade. And so let's refresh this to start with a clean slate. And sometimes what you'll have happen is there's already a question mark and a little bit of code there. We change the option here and it put the question mark with relevance equals zero. Now to add it in here, all you do is go after your question mark and then put a semicolon after it in between whatever else is in that code. And then just copy it. Paste it. Let's refresh the page and there you go. You're all set. Now let's refresh the video on YouTube to clear out that code box. Now to make this work with the old code, it's almost the exact same. You go into share and then into embed and then use old code right here. And if you notice within that box, it changed it to the old code style, but you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to look for the link within the code. And then after it, if there's no question mark, you're going to add the question mark. If there is a question mark, right after the question mark, you add autoplay equals one and a semicolon to separate it from anything else. Now in the old code, the link shows up twice and you need to do it in both places. So down here, we're going to go autoplay equals one and semicolon again. So make sure it's in both places and you're going to copy that old code. and paste it into your text box or onto your page. And we'll update it and let's refresh the page. Hello there. And there you go, it's automatically playing. Now the last thing we wanna do is we wanna center this. Now it's not gonna center it right on the page. What it's gonna do is it's gonna center it within the body content area. If you notice there's this little bit of space to the right of the video. Now, if we want to center that up, the easiest way is just to use a div tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right back over here to the page editor. And we're going to add a little bit of code. So 
it's div align equals center before the code. And then after it, we're going to go forward slash div to close the division. If you look on your visual editor, you'll notice that that centered it up. We're going to update this. And let's go back here and refresh the page. And if you notice now, it's centered within that space on the page. There's equal space on left and right side within that portion of the page. The sidebar doesn't move at all, but within this portion of the page, it's centered. So that's the easy way to center it. Now, if you look in the description below this video, you'll find some before and after examples so you can see how this works and just copy and paste it over. So to wrap things up, in this video, you learn how to make your embedded YouTube videos automatically play when people go to the page. You also learn the easy way to center the video on the page. Now, if you thought this video was helpful, be sure to click the like or favorite button so other people can find it as well. And if you click the subscribe button, you'll never miss out whenever a new video comes out. Thanks so much for watching.